You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodriguez for Black and White Sports. We're going to talk about the Marxist NBA of China. It seems that former Rockets and Knicks head coach had some choice words for the Marxist NBA of China last night during the Clippers and Suns game. He echoed something that Mr. Matrix and myself have talked about at great length uh, during live streams we've had on Sundays. Uh, or whenever we decide to have them, whenever we can have them. Uh, we have talked about the fact that the NBA, the brand of basketball, just isn't as good as it was in the 80s and the 90s and the early 2000s. And one of the reasons for that is the intestinal fortitude, the testicular fortitude of the players that are playing. Uh, one of the things, one of the reasons the NBA has started dropping down the totem pole of sports popularity wasn't all to do with social justice, although that's had a 87% impact. The other part is things like lack of blue-collar work ethic, i.e. our superstar players are going to take 10 to 12 or 15 games off a year just because just cause we need to sit out, just because we need a rest. And I don't think that's a great example, especially if you would like to hold on to a blue-collar audience, which the NBA, I believe, has underappreciated for a long, long time. Uh, it's clear, even though the ratings are coming back, the NBA will never be what it once was. Well, Jeff Van Gundy, Van Gundy, last night on the Marxist ESPN of China's NBA broadcast had some choice words during a foul. Ex-NBA coach Jeff M. Gunleaf said he's sick of the sissification of the game. Let's take a look at that foul right now. In the game in, in the park. I'm letting you know that. I am, I am sick of the sissification of the game. That's not a flagrant foul. He contested, he fouled him. Shoot your two free throws. No, no, that's not just a contest. That's a slap in the face. He understood what he was doing. All right, let's bring it. Former NBA coach Jeff Van Gundy appeared to be irked during Game 5 last night between the Suns and the Clippers. I still am not watching. In the fourth quarter, with more than four minutes remaining, Clippers star Paul George, who seems to be actually showing up, he's actually got a pulse during the playoffs, who knew, took a slap to the face from Suns forward Jay Crowder. I will say this about Jay Crowder because he played for my Celtics. Jay Crowder's got a little old-school dog in him. George went down seemingly in pain from getting hit across the face. The referees stopped play to review whether Crowder should be assessed a flagrant foul. Van Gundy, the longtime ESPN commentator, strongly disagreed that it was a flagrant foul and went further in a diatribe. Quote, I'm sick of the sissification of the game. That's not a flagrant f foul. He's contested. He fouled him. Shoot two free throws. Shut up and shoot your free throws, fucker. Van Gundy's co-commentator, Mark Jackson, disagreed. Well, of course he did because he's wildly pro player these days. The referees took Jackson's side and assessed a flagrant one to Crowder. George nailed two free throws and put the Clippers up by 14. Look, we know what age and time... Jeff Van Gundy came from. One of the things I've said to Mr. Matrix is, look, one of the things that's hurt the games is all these damn three-point shots. And in the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s, about the time somebody like fat-ass James Harden pulled up for his seventh three-pointer in a row, Anthony Mason would have put him four rows up in the stands. Latrell Sprewell would have dropped an forearm straight to Steph Curry's mouth hole. Okay? The fact is, you weren't going to put up that many trays without a message being sent to you. Now imagine Jeff Van Gundy coached those awesome hardcore Knicks teams back in the day. Latrell Sprewell, Charles Oakley, John Starks, Charlie Ward, 
Derek, uh, Derek Harper. I mean, my God, it goes on and on. Anthony Mason was on those teams. Even the Charlotte Hornets, people forget, was a tough team. Guys like Xavier McDaniel was in the league at the time. It was a different time in, in, in the NBA. And these players just aren't nearly as tough as those players were back then. That was hardcore basketball. You could turn on NBA on NBC on Sunday, Pacers, Knicks, you know, Pacers, Celtics, whatever, whoever you was watching. And the fact is, an NHL game, an NFL game, might break out during your consumption of the NBA that day. Somebody might get a punch thrown at them. Anybody remember Rick Mahorn and Bill Lambeer? You know, I've got some issues on a personal level with uh, some of the ways that Isaiah Thomas thinks, but he was a junkyard dog out on the court. There's no, there's no disputing that. Carl Malone went up for a rebound. It was all elbows coming down, all elbows up uh, off the top rope onto these NBA players in every game. Charles Barkley, tough as nails out there. And these players just aren't tough. They're not tough. They're the uh, uh, the embodiment of these new generation of folks out there that are so worried about their little feelings getting hurt. They The NBA, Adam Silver, really needs to look at the brand of basketball that they are playing these days because I don't think it's particularly an attractive brand. I'm so sick of players like Russ, Ru, Russell Westbrook being celebrated when he's never won anything. And he scores 37 points, but he takes 50 damn shots to try to get there. Okay? So it, it's kind of reminiscent of, remember Starberry? You know, Stefan Marbury, the guys that score a lot of points, do a lot of things. Stevie Francis, they did a lot of things on the court, but they never won anything. Just point collectors. You got a lot of those guys in the league right now. Those guys never were worth a flip to anybody. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. I think Jeff Van Gundy's right. There are a bunch of sissies in the Marxist NBA of China. Led by LeBron James. Peace. I'm out. La China. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.